are you? I'm Rose. Today's story uh, is a story about friendship and kindness and working together. And our characters are not um, humans, they're animals. And they come across a problem, each of them, and decide to solve it together, which is kind of how life would work the best if we could all do it. So this is a story that I really enjoyed, so I hope you will too. A House in the Woods, written and illustrated by Inga Moore. A little pig had made a den for herself in the woods. Next door, another little pig had made himself a hut. One morning, the two little pigs went out walking together. One little pig found a feather, and the other found an interesting stick. But when the first little pig brought her feather home to her den, she discovered that Bear had moved in, which she didn't mind because she liked Bear. But Bear was so big that, oh dear, the den was wrecked. And when the second little pig went home to his hut, with his stick, he discovered that Moose had moved in, which he didn't mind either because he liked Moose. But Moose was even bigger than Bear, and when he stood up politely to say good morning, crash, the hut was also wrecked. Which left the two little pigs with nowhere to live, not to mention Bear and Moose. This was a pickle, it really was. Then Moose had a brilliant idea. Why not build a big house where they could all live together? Well, that was a good idea. Except that building a big house with real windows and doors, a roof, stairs, and chimney stacks isn't easy. They couldn't do it on their own. So Moose called the beavers on the telephone. And soon afterward, a team of beaver builders came to help them. The beavers said that they wished to be paid in peanut butter sandwiches. No one had any objection. So they felled the timber. And the work began. By lunchtime, the walls of the house were up. And by dinner time, the roof was on. The lunch and dinner times were on different days, of course. Beavers are fast, but not that fast. Bear made the staircases and chimney stacks while Moose fitted the windows and doors. Then they both went with the two little pigs to the junkyard for furniture and curtains and all the other things that go inside a house. At last, the house was finished. The beavers handed over their bill and left. There was just enough time to get to the store and buy the bread and the peanut butter. Then the little pigs helped Moose and Bear make six plates of peanut butter sandwiches, which they delivered in person to the beavers who had all gone back to their lodge on the lake. It had been a busy time for the little pigs and Moose and Bear. They had worked hard. Had it been worth it? What do you think? Just look, what a beautiful new house they have. Bear went to bed first because she was so tired. And after they had finished their supper and washed the dishes and told stories for a while around the fire, Moose and the two little pigs climbed the stairs to bed. Soon the only sounds to be heard were the soft cheeps of sleepy birds roosting in the rafters, the tiny rustling of wood mice in the fallen leaves outside, and just now and then the gentle snoring of Bear. Good night, Bear. Good night, Moose. Good night, little pigs. Sweet dreams, everyone.